I'm looking forward to reading for you beautiful people and connecting with you guys again because I've missed you all very much. Missed you all very much. So hopefully we'll get on to some hellos if that's okay. Hi Fiona, how are you going, sweetie? Hope you're well. Oh, hi Tony, how are you going, mate? Hi Sue, how are you, sweet girl? Hi Richard, how are you going? Hi Gwen, good to see you. Hi Julie, thank you for joining. Hope you guys enjoy the show. Hi Sharon, how are you going? Terry T. Hi, Miss Bree. I'm not too sure if you're a male or a female, so I'm going to go, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Terry. Okay, so I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, I'm, I have met a few Terry ladies, so I didn't mean to insult your name in any way, shape or form, but it, it is it is a, you know, unisex name, like a couple of other ones. PayPal, rather. Hi. Hello. Good evening over here in Australia. <laughs> Hope you're having a good day. Oh, thank you. Sending healing and love. Hi. It's a paper. Oh, God, that one. Tony. Hey, sure. Hello, everyone. Hello, darling. How are you? Oh, okay. So Sharon McGregor. Hi, Brie. Big hugs to you. Big hugs back to you, baby girl. Thank you for joining. I hope you guys enjoy the show tonight. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit uh, frazzled from the day that I've had, so it should be an interesting night. It should be an interesting night. Lots of humour and good readings. So, hi, Fiona. Good. To, yep. I hope you're feeling better. I am. Thank you very much for asking, sweetie. Hope you're doing well and looking after yourself. Terry T. It's okay, man. Oh my God. Okay. All right, got to trust my intuition on that one. <laughs> Still learning to do that. Okay, but thank you for joining, Terry. Okay. So, so I'm just gathering my thoughts before before I dive into this. It's been a bit of a chaotic day. So I'm psychic medium Brianna Wilson. You can actually find me on Facebook uh, if you you know type in B R Y. It's not an I or an E A. Uh, so it's like media and Brianna Wilson. I live in Western Sydney, uh, New South Wales, Australia. I do remote viewing. I do past life readings. I do mediumship, like evidential and energy mediumship. So I read energy. I work based on evidence. So evidence of spirit is very important because it's not just giving vague information and it's actually bringing closure. That, that's why I find that important. But um, you know, I also read auras as well. So I'm a bit of a jack of all trades. I just don't do legal or health. Okay, so I hope that helps about anything that you might need to ask me tonight okay so Catherine Edwards first time watching well welcome I always love my first timers I always love my first timers and just because you're a first timer I'll pull up a couple of cards now these aren't the cards I normally use my house is upside down right now I don't know I've got a hurricane Harley go to go through here a million miles an hour before he goes to his friend's place and I'll have to find these and use them so they're his cards it's okay pull a few cards for you and see what they say all right so we've got here the first card the first two cards for you okay so the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords shows that you've actually been picking up the pieces. It's almost like you've been like rummaging through the pieces as you as you're picking up in your life. Okay. And I feel that with you, Catherine, there's a lot going on and you've you found victory. You have found a deep, like a sense of self and accomplishment with the things that you've been able to do. Okay. And I feel that you're coming to the point where you're burning a lot of it away and you're starting to to move forward from a lot of the things that you've been through, which is fantastic. Okay. But don't let the the trick of the subconscious mind which can be our worst enemies at times make us overthink okay i feel there's a lot of ideas that you've got that you're very creative you know what i mean so don't allow those ideas to just wither away and bring them to the light because you never know where it's going to take you all right i'll pull one more for you and then we will move on to the next person and please leave me some feedback guys that would be amazing okay so whoop. the ace of wands okay so you're going to be given a position right now okay maybe not so much right now but very soon you're going to be given a position that a lot of people would abuse that power okay I feel that you're going to be given a lot of a lot of trust okay and I don't feel that you're ever the type to abuse that sort of trust you're very you, you treat you very much you treat people the way that you want to be treated sweetie okay but this is going to be a, a good position for you because it's going to be fair treatment to everyone else I hope this makes sense if not then please feel free to ask if I'll be able to elaborate if I can remember if I'm not too far down in the next two readings tonight but yeah, hope that helps, baby. Take it easy and leave. let me know. Delia, you're a fellow Aussie. Thank you, darling. Thank you. I um, 
I'm just me. I'm just me. I like to come up here and help people and bond. That, that, that's pretty much it. But thank you. Thank you. You've got lovely energy too, sweetie. Whereabouts in Australia are you from? Let me know. Hi, Richard and Bree. Millie, I love your vibrant red hair. My goodness me. That looks great. Are they green eyes too? My God, you'd, be, you'd stand out like a sore thumb in public, wouldn't you, girl? You're stunning. Jessie Cat. Hey, my favourite girl. <laughs> One of my loyal, loyal followers. All this time now, Jesse Cat, do the hands. I'd love to know my past life. Please and thank you, Brie. Okay, so I don't know why, but I'm seeing a water, like a, a water well. And I don't know why, but I'm feeling like you kind of fell down there and got stuck. And it was a very, very, very long way down. And that would be why you would have passed away. I feel like darkness and it. Okay, so you know when you go into a basement and it's like you can smell that smelly smell of concrete. And it's like you can tell that it's the smell of stagnant under the house smell. Do you know what I mean? Like that's kind of the smell that I've, I've said that word a lot in this sentence, but that is the kind of thing that you were left with in your past life. So I think that that kind of smell to you is a bit triggering, which would be why you might not like going into cold concrete places, like, you know, under the house or, you know, not like anyone would like to go into the house, but it just doesn't give you a very good feeling. I also fear that there could be a fear of darkness as well as water around you as well. So I feel that there's you fall in there, no way you're coming out. Not not with the technology they would have had back in 1726. No way. No ropes would have been able to, like literally it was going down into the ground to get water. So I feel that this well would have been something that had no bottom and I feel like it just went down into the ground and then kind of, you know how there's tunnels of water underground? Something like that. So I hope this helps and I hope this can give you some information. Next one. Uh, okay, Terry T, Miss Bree. When will I meet my guy? It's been single for ten years, and what's up? Is he way? Okay, so stop looking for your soulmate and look for your soul mate. Do you get what I mean by that saying? And you know what? I, I'm so cliche with self love, self love, self love, but it's so true. Forget about your soul mate and go find your soul mate. Then everything else will fall into place. It's all about. I feel like that's the block for you. When you actually start to to do that, everything else will start to pay out for you quite smoothly I feel and that's all the where it's going to start just give it a go all right you will meet him I do feel that it, until you do this it's going to be a consistent battle of just unnecessary drama for you okay that this is just something that you can fix it now stop the cycle of the same things that you go through and find your soul mate <laughs> not your soul mate but soul mate and you'll be, you're pleasant you'll be pleasantly surprised if not then report back to me and we'll talk Okay, I hope this helps, mate. I'm sorry I couldn't be more of assistance to you on that matter. So what have we got here? Summer Dawson. Hello, first time watching. Was wondering if I could please have a reading. Of course you can, but I do request, guys, please make sure that you ask a specific question to get a specific answer because I get a lot of people asking me for general readings. Um, and another thing is feedback too. Please give some feedback. Right or wrong, it doesn't, mean, doesn't have to be correct. I'm happy to be wrong. That's how I learn. So please, it's very important for me to have some things as well. All right. So first time watching, was wondering if you have a read. No dramas. I'll pull a few cards for you. We are reading from these cards. I don't ever read from these. So it's, you know, that's good to read intuitively. Okay. So the Eight of Swords is coming up for you. All right. That means there's going to be a lot of choices that you need to make. And I feel that you're not going to know the outcome or, the, or if it's going to be a good outcome or a bad outcome until you actually make that choice. Okay. I know it's scary and change is terrifying, especially for me as well. So I can relate. I can 100% relate. So don't be scared of that change because it could be the best thing that's going to happen. It will be the best thing that's going to happen to you because it's got to be better than what's going on now. And I think you know what I'm saying about that, okay? I'll pull another couple of cards. I hope this helps. All right, so the Seven of Wands, and that just flicked out at me, okay? This represents that you're, you're guarding up. It's almost like you're preparing for something to go wrong, which means that you could be manifesting it into your reality, sweetie, and you don't want to be doing that. I know what intrusive thoughts are like, and it's dangerous with intrusive thoughts because those intrusive thoughts can be manifested into reality, and it can be a very difficult life for someone who has intrusive thoughts, and I feel you're 100% there, okay? But just be realistic, okay, and ask your higher self to stop these intrusive thoughts and give more love and guidance and make sure, and make sure that, you know, you know that you're, that that's not you. That's a part of you that needs to be healed, okay? I hope that helps, Summer. Right, what else have we got?
No, Miss Bree. I said, Terry T says, no, Miss Bree, I know what you mean. Please don't apologise. You helped me a lot. I'm glad I have. I'm glad I have. Like, I love being able to help people. It makes me happy. I always used to say, if I can at least help one person in this world, then I've done my life purpose. So, hey, Furman Howard, my future, hang on, could you, yeah, Furman Howard, my future should, should I move to Georgia and get with my husband? I feel like that'll be a very dangerous territory. Okay, not 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 the area, the the relationship. Okay, I don't think that things are going to work out as smoothly as you hope. If 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 this is what you do, it may it may not. I do you know I have been wrong before, so don't take what I'm saying at face value at a thousand percent. You know, it is it is for entertainment purposes after all. But I feel that you are chartering into dangerous territory. I feel that those doubts that you're having, you need to pay close attention to those because those are your guides trying to guide you in the right direction all right don't ignore red flags don't and and don't be naive to to, to crap either all right so i hope this helps honey all right so we've got richard did and he says how's my job going to go this year thanks I feel that you could almost be like somebody that teaches or lectures or something like that. And I feel that it's, if that's not what you're doing, I feel like that, that could be a role suited to you, might not be interested to you, but I feel like you could be quite good at it. I feel like you're very smart and academic. Um, I feel that you, you, you tick in a way that people don't usually tick. It's like you can understand things of the universe that a lot of people can't, which is a really good thing. Um, I feel that you need to implement that ability into the job that you're going to be doing. Okay, so make sure that it's something that you enjoy, thoroughly enjoy, because once you get into that, I find it's going to be quite hard to get out of because of the money. Okay, so I hope this helps, mate, and I wish you all the best of luck. Summer Dawson, you are right. You are awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that helped. I really do. Thank you for the feedback, Summer. Beautiful name, by the way. Okay, so Rebecca Whelan, uh, could I have some guidance please, on my career? Thank you. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm sure I can look up something. <laughs> look, I feel that with you that there's not a lot of acknowledgement on your behalf when it comes to the workplace. If it's not you that gets not acknowledged, then it's somebody else that should be more acknowledged. Um, or whether that should be you acknowledging someone in your workplace a little bit more. It could be one of the three of them, okay? Um, not that you're... A nasty person i mean personally like that it's just you're probably very busy and you don't you know you, you try to get everything together and cover everything as much as you can we always neglect some sort of little part of our life don't we like i'm not saying that you're neglectful or anything like that but you know i feel that there could be something that could be tweaked to make situations a little bit happier in the workplace um or at least in the financial situation and the financial side of things um but yeah i hope this helps i really do i want to try and get through as many people as i can so i'm going to try and keep it very short but yeah, I will try and get through to everyone. So if you guys are watching, please stay till the end because if I do your reading, you won't, you won't, you'll miss it. Okay, so if you ask a question, stay on the line until the end. But yeah, I hope that helps, Rebecca. Richard did, and yes, I'm a realtor now and I'm doing mediumship on and off. Okay, well, we'll go into it. Honestly, like people that are gifted have the gift. Honestly, like I feel like, you know, like you, everybody's got their, you know, unique ways of reading and no one will ever read like you do. That's one thing I've learned. No reader ever reads the same. Maybe did, maybe very similar, but no one ever reads the same. And I feel that you doubt yourself. You're gifted. Go with it. Go with what makes you happy as well. And you know what? If mediumship doesn't make you happy, then you've probably done it too much. <laughs> you know what I mean? So take a break from it. It doesn't mean you have to stop it altogether. Okay. I do feel that there is going to be a lot of success for you. And I feel that you could even do, you know, I, I feel that you could just, you know, you are a medium. It doesn't mean you have to just do mediumship when you feel like it. You're a medium. It's always going to be the case that you're a medium. Okay? You're just a, a realtor that can speak to the dead and sell houses. That's awesome. You know what I mean? Like, just to put a bit of humor on it, honestly, like, you are a medium. So try and work with it as much as you can because I feel that you'll surprise yourself, mate. I hope this helps. Okay. Hey, brother, future love and career reading, please. Okay, so can you please pick one? Because I'm going to try and get through to as many people as I can. Um, but I'm going to go with your, you know what, I read love a lot and I'm getting sick of it. So I'm just going to go career. I'm just life in general and career. All right. 
All right, so PayPal Rafa, by your name. All right, so you have got the Queen of Swords around you in energy, okay? And this card actually represents calmness. It represents tackling situations in a calm manner and a strategic, smart manner so you don't stuff up along the way. Okay, you need to be careful about whatever's going on in your life right now. You need to be careful because you don't want to tell you don't want to tell anyone too much, and you don't want to tell anyone not enough. Okay, you need to just remain calm. And whenever your mind is calm, that's when miracles start to happen. That's when you can start to do great things, like not freak out and just get the, get it done. You know what I mean? But I think that you need to not go at it so hot headedly and so quick. Sit back and evaluate first. Make sure it's something that you need to do. Uh, and I feel that with life in general, all right, so I feel it with uh, straight up, I feel that with you there could be a sister issue or a, there's a female in your life right now that is causing you a lot of a lot of problems that you need to cut off. And I don't feel that you're completely aware of who it is because it's someone quite close to you. And I feel that this person is very good at being a bit of a chameleon. Very, very convincing that they're on your side and that they care about you, but they don't. I'm sorry to either bear a bad news and I'm, if it doesn't resonate with you, please keep it into the back of your mind so that you can prepare for it internally just in case so you can be safe. You know what I mean? It's like padding up for, you know, for rollerblading in case you fall over even though you probably won't. So I hope this helps, mate. All right, Tony Wright, I had a dream I was in the present but everyone was dressed in Victoria clothes. Okay, so our past lives are actually all happening at the same time. Time's an illusion. This is my opinion anyway, so please, you know, if anybody wants to disagree or but speak up, but my opinion is that time is an illusion and we are all in different multiple, like multiple per, like uh, parallel universes. So there's multiple versions of us doing the same thing because we're like, you know, like we're like a, a vessel for our, our higher self to kind of learn and expand spiritual, spiritually and with, and with wisdom as well. This happens when we're living multiple lives. Our, we're different versions, different versions, different versions. So I feel that the dream that you're having of your past life is actually you going to that life. Do you know what I mean? Dreams say a lot, and there's a lot about dreams that tell us about things in our life and where we go overnight time when we're actually asleep. Okay? I don't believe that we stay in our bodies. I believe that we're out exploring. You know what I mean? Um, so the soul doesn't need to rest, but the physical body does. When it comes to that dream in the past life, I feel like you've physically been taken to one of your parallel lives. When I had a dream that I did something quite bad to a family member, like I, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I had a really bad dream that I killed my sister. I'm not the type of person to ever hurt anyone, not even a fly. I'm the type of person to pick up something and take it outside. Like no way in hell would I do that. And it was the most horrifying, terrifying, traumatic dream I've had in a long time. And I knew in my dream that it wasn't me that did it. But how did I end up there? How did I end up in this situation? And I believe that we switched places in our sleep, if that makes sense. So it was like she, me in a parallel universe, freaked out and just kind of went, eh, soul swap. And that's that's kind of what I feel happened with you in your um in your past life dream. I hope that makes sense. If it doesn't, let me know and I'll try and explain a little bit better. But yeah, I hope that helps. If we, so Jennifer Lee asks, if we choose our lives, our lives, why do we choose this one? Please and thank you. That's a very good question because I ask myself that same question every single day because, like, it, it is a very good question to be asking yourself. And we choose, like, we, from what I, from what I understand, right? When there's, um, imagine us as an octopus, right? So each body of yours avatar is. Uh, a tentacle, so to speak, with our own brain, okay? And each tentacle is a, each person living up, you know, our own separate lives in parallel to each other, okay? So say, for example, in one life you're learning about whatever and in the other life, it, it's all to gain spiritual like knowledge and wisdom. It's all to gain and gain and gain. And what's that for? Evolution, spiritual evolution, okay? So we choose these lives to feel emotions that we don't usually feel or haven't felt because we're usually in such a high vibrational place when we go home, that we don't feel these emotions that we normally that we that we would hear on the physical plane. Okay, so we as a spiritual being want to experience a human experience and feel these emotions and take that back with us so that we got an experience out of it. It's all part of the spiritual evolution. Does that make sense? So you know you choose the life that you have, the parents that you have, 
you know, the gender, the height, country that you're going to live in, the personality that you're going to have, do you know what I mean? So that you can learn and grow. It's all about growth. Okay. Hope this helps a lot. Jackie Price, future reading. Geez, we're going into the past, present, and future tonight, aren't we? 100. Yeah, we can. Okay, so again, with I'm not even going to use the cards right now because straight up with you, there's deceit around you, and you need to eliminate that. There's a lot of deceit around everybody because people are really starting to show their true colours um, because of these new vibrations of the planet and everything like that. Like, you'd be surprised. I feel that you need to start. Being careful with what you're saying to people, sweetheart, because I don't feel that these people or this person in particular, is she blonde? I feel, like whether, I feel like it's either a flamboyant male or a, a masculine female in your life that could be quite toxic. Um, you need to, and I think you know exactly who it is, but you don't really want to admit it to yourself. But I do see you, however, once this all, I feel like something's going to happen with you that you're going to want to pack up and move. Totally fresh start. You want to get up and move, new place, new area, new friends, new life, everything. And that would probably be the best thing that you could do in a situation like I feel that you're in right now. Okay. I feel that and that could even just be a stagnant, stagnant feeling. It could be you're in the best place ever. It could be you're in the worst place ever. It just depends on, do you know what I mean? You have got a beautiful, peaceful land. I mean, you know, like maybe even an acre or two. If you haven't got it already, I do feel like this is an option for you. Um, definitely in the future. And I see a very peaceful, calm life. Like a, not, not a country life. I don't feel that you're very much into farm life. But I feel that you do, you know, you like a bit of land and a bit of view. And, you know, you don't mind wildlife every now and again. Or you don't mind having, you know, just not petting too, obviously. But, um, you know, I, I think that there's going to be a very peaceful view from where you're going to be living. It's the best way I can put it. Best way I can put it. So I don't feel it's going to be where you're living right now. I don't feel that you're going to be talking to a lot of people that you are talking to now either. It's going to be a complete change. So that's going to be good. Go for it and don't hold back, sweetie. Hope this helps. Thank you. That's a beautiful, honestly, like I'm, I'm going to go back and read that, but thank you for that. That, that was very, very beautiful. Yeah, very nice to read. Thank you. Thank you, Tim. Okay. That's awesome. Delia Morin, about to start a new financial year at work, had a great year 2022. Is 2023 looking as good? It's going to be looking about the same, to be honest with you. I feel that about, look, I, I don't feel that you should have expectations for it going to be better, but be hopeful that it does. Like, tell yourself that it's going to so you can manifest it into your reality, but don't get your hopes up to the point where you're not manifesting it, but you're just setting yourself up for disappointment. Okay, like we do manifest, but we're always not in control of everything we want to be in control of. Okay, not until we get to that ascended master stage. <laughs> um, but I think that you need to just keep going the route that you are, but I do feel I feel there's going to be a change for you in work, and I do feel that you're not going to be in the same job in 12 months' time, sweet girl. And it's not going to be a bad thing. It's going to change. It's going to be good. But go for hire. You know, I don't feel like you're getting all of it. What is it with a lot of jobs these days not actually paying people what they promise? There's a lot of readings that I've done for people that have had this problem that I picked up on. They're not actually being paid properly, or they're being underpaid, or they're not getting all their award wages or anything like that. It's 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 happening a lot around the world, and I feel it. Like Sadly, this could be something that could be happening to you, which is what's going to make you want to move. Okay, and I don't feel it's going to happen for long either. You're going to get onto it quite quickly, so you're not going to, it's not going to trip you over too much. Do you know what I mean? So I hope this helps, honey. Okay, Lily Sarge, uh, does P want me to connect to contact him? I'm scared he is pissed because I didn't feel like was responding due to the fact I was sick. Okay. All right. So I love this type of questions. If he's pissed off, who cares? You were sick. Straight out, girl. Come on. Like, honestly, like, where's the self-love here? Sweet. Don't, like, honestly, you're so much like me in that aspect. Like, who gives a crap what anyone else thinks if, if they're upset with you? If you need to take time because you've stubbed your toe, then take time because you stubbed your toe. I did. I didn't walk for two months almost, and I didn't really talk to anyone because I was pissed off because I broke my foot. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's, it, who cares? You, you do you. If you're not feeling up to it, then I don't want to understand that, and that's on them. 
Okay, but I do understand that you might have a bit of anxiety, which might not actually represent that's what's going on with, 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 this, with this partner. Do you know what I mean? Stop overthinking it. Because I'm telling you, I've been overthinking for the last week and a half, and it does not do you any favors. I'm probably, I probably aged about 10 years, and I don't want you to age. <laughs> I don't want you to age quickly either. So stop stressing, relax, take a breath. If he wants to contact you, he will, but don't let him play mind games with you. Don't let him play with your head. Don't let him play with your heart, okay? If he's playing with you just to get him, get you to chase him to make himself feel good, he's he's for the bin. Not the win, the bin, okay? <laughs> I'll leave it there, girl, and I hope this helps. Seashells. Will I settle abroad in the coming months? Look, I think that's a very real possibility, but stop questioning whether you should or not. If you feel that you have the capabilities of doing it, well, why not enhance your life to have a better experience? Honestly, if you can improve your life in any way, well, why not do it? So I think if you can improve your life by getting a beautiful view of you know, living abroad, why not? Go for it. And if it doesn't work, then obviously it wasn't meant to be. Okay, I'm not going to be someone to sit there and go, yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I'm going to guide you into the right direction as well as give you my intuitive feelings. So give it a go because I think you will probably have a bit of luck there. Pamela R.G. Roger. Hi, everybody. Hi, to, hi everyone. Hi to this gorgeous Aussie chick. Oh, thank you, love. Thank you. <laughs> Good to see you. Thank you for joining. Good. Missed you. I do remember that name, though, and I remember the energy very much, so welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. As I said, guys, feel free to follow me on Facebook. It's Psychic Medium Brianna Wilson. Um, I do a lot. I do lives pretty much every week as well as come here on PTV. Um, it's PTV, sorry. Um, but, yeah, um, gets quite entertaining, as I said. And that goes for you too, Pamela. So head over to my business page if you'd like and follow, follow, follow more of my lives as well as here in, on SPTV. What else have we got here? Alison Anderson. Hi, my first time here, past life, please. I thought I thought that said first time healer, past life. And I'm like, what? I think I'm becoming dyslexic. I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't something I was going with. <laughs> Tied's the word. Yeah, that would be a good word to use. Hi, my first time here, please. Uh, past life, please. Yeah, okay. That's a bit of a worry, Brie. Moving on. Okay, so with you, I feel that there was a horse injury and a horse accident. I'm seeing a horse rearing and actually coming down and striking and you being on the ground. Like, imagine you said, like, what I'm being shown is me being on the ground and almost under underneath a horse's hoof. So I feel that there was injury to your face and to your upper body to this horse. And I feel like it wasn't an easy, light thoroughbred or a little pony. This was a Shire horse or a Clydesdale or or something of the heavy of the heavy draft horses. So this was quite an impact. I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing something around your face. And I feel like it's almost like you get tingling sensations this lifetime from that under your eyes and over your nose, the bridge of your nose. It wouldn't be surprising if that's the case. Um, I feel that you died instantly on impact from what happened. I've, I'm, I'm being shown that they kicked you, got kicked, or you got reared on. I feel like there was a big accident where you were up, got reared on, or you were, under the, you were under them for a second, you got stampled, and then you got kicked. Like, I don't know how you got yourself into that situation, but, you know, you must have swooped that horse something fierce because, you know, I, don't, I feel like you had a lot to do with transport when it comes to the old dirt roads before vehicles were even around, and I had a feeling, I have a feeling that you were, you know, that that's how you got around with these big heavy draft horses and these big heavy draft horses used to pull carriages that's what they're for so i hope this helps and i hope that was a bit of entertaining history for you and if you could please leave me some feedback that'd be great if you've got any questions don't hesitate to ask me susan tucker I believe I've experienced <clears throat> lots of hurts in my past life, absolutely, and also in my present, yes. Wondering why and what lessons can possibly be learned. I like your attitude towards that girl. I really do, and that's where you're going to succeed. It's all about why – it's not about why me, why me, why me. It's about what's the universe trying to teach me. What am, What lessons am I going to be getting out of this, okay? So in your past lives, we – so with, with, with you, okay, so I'm going to go back to your higher self for a second, okay? You know what I was saying about the tentacles? When you want to heal past lives and when your higher self feels that it's safe to do so and when you're, it, it, your higher self will never face you with something that you're not going to be ready for. When you're ready to see these things and heal, that's when you're going to get this information, okay? So that's very important to remember that. And I feel that a lot of the connections between your past life to your life now are very similar. And I feel that there's a lot of, not so much phobias, but... Something with electricity happened in your past life, and I feel like it could have been 
you know, I'm going to be a bit boring here, but electrocuted to death, like not not an electric chair or anything like that, but like it's almost like you're walking over a power line or grabbing a, you know, not that you'd be that stupid to do something like that, but imagine doing something like that. That's kind of electric shock that would, would have killed you. Um, I don't feel like you're in incarceration. I just feel like there was electricity mixed with lightning and water and possibly something on the road or, on, or on the, under the ground maybe. Um, but, yeah, it was a bolt. I think you might have been struck by lightning at one point. Um, but there's also fears and phobias that you need to ask yourself of and notice when that happens and see if you can get any past life memories. Me and my brothers were talking about the Mandela effect the other night. You know, I don't believe in the Mandela effect because I don't believe in false memories. All these memories are coming to us for a reason, whether that could be our imagination, which is part of the social conditioning that we all go through when we're growing up. But your imagination is actually your third eye, your pineal gland. So there's a lot of lessons to be learned here and there's a lot of things that you need to touch upon and I feel that you're starting to recognize that and become a lot more self-aware so if you do need me to help you with that too please feel free to message me as well after the show okay Joanne I can't pronounce your last name girl so I'm just going to say Joanne I uh, would appreciate guidance on home life in the future. Okay, so I feel like you're about to sell up. Is this correct? Have you got a mortgage or have you got an investment property? Because there's going to be a couple of houses involved here and I feel that you're going to be not so much selling one and keeping one, but you're going to be renting one out, selling one and keeping that. Do you see the extra two forms of income that you've got right there? That's going to be a lot of good financial income for you, okay? And like, the length of how far you've come in the time that you've, that you've, in the time that you have, uh, that that's very proud. It's something to be very proud of. Okay, you've become very independent over the last decade, more so than what you were. I feel when you were younger, and there's a huge mouse that just ran across my living room floor. That was disgusting. I want to get back to the reading now. Um, sorry guys, that just distracted me. But with your um, with your home life, yeah, the finances are going to start getting a lot better, a hell of a lot better. Um, but you're going to be happily to be living in solitude so to speak, so you might have one or two people living with you, um, but I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of people around you, and I feel like that's just kind of the way you like it. So, you know, don't feel guilty for wanting to do you, and it's a very easy thing to say. It's a lot easier said than done, but you've still got to have that boundary and self-respect and self-love there so that you can still flourish and grow in every way that you need to while you're here. I hope this helps, Joanne. I do apologise for the distraction of the mouse. That just it was huge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, another mouse trap. Moving on, please. <laughs> okay, so we've got Melody Rediff. Uh, first time here, past life reading issues with my father in his past life, please. Oh, okay. So I'm going to read to you what I'm being given. And I'm going to tell you whether I'm feeling like it's past life due to, due to the era. And if you're feeling like it's this life, then those are the connections that need to be made. That's how I do my past life readings. And they're so... It's interesting how they connect. You have issues with father, and I feel that father had issues with father as well, and I feel like it has been a complete line of generational trauma and spiritual trauma, which is why we heal, so that we don't go through the same thing again next lifetime if we choose to reincarnate, okay? So your past life regarding issues with your father in this past life, it goes back further than that, and that feel like, I feel like he that goes back in his past life, in his past life. So he's got a lot of karmic things going on because he's got a really bad temper, or he has had a really bad temper in a lot of your past lives, in his past life. Sorry, um, your father is not somebody that I would be calling dad. Or if it has been, it's something that has to be very well respected and earned on your behalf. You hear me? Because this is something that the feeling that I'm getting right now is this is not a delicate topic, so I'm not going to go on it too much, but this is not an excuse to forgive somebody forgive for you so that you don't have that grudge but don't ever forget and don't ever give that person another chance to ever hurt you because you're going to have the same karmic cycle okay um you are a black sheep yes as a lot of people that are spiritual a lot of people in this world are because we're here to make a difference and i feel like that was something that threatened your dad that has threatened your dad in the past it has threatened your dad now and i feel that that's almost like he's almost like jealous of you almost, which is a bit weird, but I hope I'm wrong. I really do, because this is a very, uh, it's a reading that's a bit on the darker side, so to speak. So I'm going to leave it there just out of respect. Uh, but if you'd like to message me, I'm not going to charge you to have a chat after it, after the show, if you want to have a chat. Okay. I hope that helps, Maddie. I hope I can call you Maddie. Shh. 
Shana, why I can't pronounce your last name, sweetie, so I'm just going to call you Shana. Would love a reading for life or present, please. Love and light. Okay, so with you, you trust way too easily, but once your trust has been burned, you never trust again. Okay, and I feel that once that person, it's almost like whenever you meet somebody, you want to always see the best in that situation and the best in that person, giving the benefit of the doubt to the point where they could be lying straight to your face and saying that, he, you, that, you got, that he's got horns coming out of his head. When in really he doesn't because you can't see those horns, but you're going to believe that because that's what he's saying. Okay, and it's it's not being naive at all. It's just being trusting because you're not the type of person to make up stuff. You're not the type of person to just do that sort of thing. So you, you don't have it in your cognitive wiring, so to speak. Um, there's a lot around you where you're getting taken advantage of, and I feel that you've started to step back from a lot of people, which is really, really good because you're noticing the behaviours and the patterns here, aren't you? Okay, there's a lot of good things happening, but there's this, it's almost like there's a little child or a little a little one that you need to protect. Okay, I feel like there's, there's something going on there, not saying anything like that, but I feel that there's something to the one if you do have a child that, is, that needs a bit more attention. Um, and I feel that there's going to be a journey of just you and you and your little one for a while. I hope this helps. And I'm not trying to run on anyone's parade, okay? Think of it as a good thing. You're not going to be lonely. You're going to be at peace. Do you? I hope this helps. I'm, I really do. Madeline, thank you so very much. Very true. Oh, good. Thank you so much. Appreciate the feedback. Nicola, Nicola Humphreys, would you please, oh, sorry, would you please, would please love a future reading if possible? Lots of things going on in her homework, family. Okay. I'll pull some cards for, th for this one. I think I should pull some cards for this one. Um, so, Lots of things going on around you. There's a lot of activity happening around you, okay? I, I just You need to trust the process and stop scanning for danger all the time. Do you know what I mean by scanning for danger? It's like being in survival mode, okay? Um, don't allow the fear. And I feel that there's going to be a lot of negative emotions that may arise in the next few weeks. I don't know what's going on up there in, in the cosmos, but I do feel that something's going to be happening where a lot of feelings and emotions are going to come to the surface and you may not know how to cope with them properly or it might feel a bit weird or you just might feel, you ever just feel out of place? Like you just, you just feel like, bleh, like what, what the hell? That's kind of, you know, what make like th those feelings for you happening happen a lot. That's a niggling feeling of perseverance wanting to move forward. That's your higher self going, go on, go move out of this comfort zone of yours because you're not going to grow otherwise okay so as your home life i feel that there's has there been a mortgage increase or a mortgage decrease around you because i feel this is going to possibly influence a move for you okay the kids are fine but i feel that there's also look i say this as a parent because i just witnessed something about bullying the other day make sure that you're always making sure that your kids aren't getting bullied because this is something that i feel fine with a lot of clients of mine where they might not be aware that their child's struggling in the social aspects of school I'm not saying yours is but just Keep your eyes peeled, just in case anything does pop up, okay? Um, and work could be your final one. I do see flying for you. I'm not too sure why, but maybe that could be travelling for tra travelling for work or moving for work. But there's going to be there's going to be trouble there. So I hope this helps. Okay, Sarah Burston, my 12-year-old had moved out of home. Do you see that she will get the help that she needs soon? Please and thank you. Mm, this is a touch of one. I'm going to do this for you in private. Can you message me after the show and we'll have a chat, okay? I don't want to read this on public. I, I just, I, I don't feel like it would be a good idea. I just think out of respect for, for you and your daughter and, I just, yeah, I want to just have a chat to you in private about that one, okay, if that's okay. Um, so I'm going to write your name down so I don't forget. Two seconds. Oh, Sarah Burston, give me a second. Oh, dear. I pencil right in front of me. All right. I'll be waiting for your message after the live, Sarah, please, because I need to know what you're talking about, but I don't want you to, like, put it
energy is really strong tonight. I'm telling you, there's just been constant of this all day, all day. So I'm going to continue on before we finish in 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, guys, for just dropping out on you like that. Um, Sarah, please contact me after the reading, as I said, before I've dropped out every every time, and we'll have a chat, okay? Let's move on for now. That's cool. Uh, one second. All right, so, yep, move on. That's all right. I want to just go through what I'm a little bit more drawn to because I've, I've just gone through most of them tonight. So I'll, um, if... yes, I can. Sounds good. Okay, uh, go back if you can. Yep. Yes, please. Beverly, cute dog. I'm going to start off by saying gorgeous dog. I used to have one. Um, and the changes around you are happening because it's time to happen. Okay, you you have been in this consistent comfort zone for so long and it's not doing you any favors girl i'm telling you you need to grow you need to make sure that you're doing the best that you can to to better your situation and i feel that you're so scared of losing what you've got and work so hard for but there's more for you out there there's more so changes around you are terrifying i fully feel you there but you need to not allow it to to stop you because you will look back in 20 years time or 10 years time and regret it and you'll know what i mean by when it happens okay go with it go with the wind Throw caution to the wind. You're going to be fine. This is all needing to happen. And I feel like it's a bit of a cleanse too. So I feel like you're getting rid of a lot of things that aren't serving you any good and you're bringing in a lot of new, a lot of new stuff. So go with it. Don't be scared. You got this. Okay, uh, Kerry Stetchel, I'll go. Will I come out of this dark tunnel of worry I am in at the moment? Will I, will I, will I? More, how can you come out of this dark tunnel of worry? Okay, I don't know what is going on in the world right now, but I'm telling you, you're not the only one feeling it. It has been no anxiety, intrusive thoughts, like just heightened, heightened anxiety. You know what I mean? Nervousness. It, it's not just you. Okay, you need to stop worrying about nothing. And on, when I say nothing, it might not seem like nothing to you, but in the big scheme of things, you're blessed. You woke up this morning. Okay, you've got a roof over your head. You've got lungs in. You've got air in your lungs. You can walk. You can feel your fingers. You can feel your toes. You can see. You can hear. You're a lot more blessed than what you give, give yourself credit for, okay? So stop worrying about it. And I know it's hard, if, especially if you've got diagnosed anxiety, okay? But taking Valium for it, sweetie, is not going to do you any good. If you are taking Valium for it, just you need to you – know, I used to be one to take heaps of medication to the point where I was so reliant on it that it was very hard to get off. So I don't want that happening to you, and I don't feel like it will, but there are always better options than – pills. <laughs> um, and they do help sometimes. I mean, I wouldn't mind having one every now and again when I get really, really tense, but I don't. So you just got to work through it. There's breathing techniques and there's actually anxiety techniques that you can use. It's called a grounding technique. You use five things that you can, so five things that you can see, three things that you can take, uh, sorry, smell and see and touch. And you're focusing on what's around you at this current stage, at this current moment, and you're able to calm yourself down before going into that massive worry again. Okay. So I, I'm, I was drawn to you to read yours because I'm going through the exact same thing and I hope my experiences are able to help yours. Okay. Okay, so Royden James Swan. Is is there any go back yeah, is there anything for me at all feeling really down with life at the moment? Look, if you're gonna I understand that it feels it's hard to just feel happy all the time, but it's a choice. Okay, it really is. Feeling down is depression. It could be depression. I'm not a doctor, but 
I'm an uncertified psychologist, essentially. Like, I'm, like it, 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 it's chemical imbalances in the brain, and it has a lot to do with what's in the environment, in the air. That's what I believe, anyway. Um, I'm not trying to start any, you know, any rally wars with that, but I feel like a lot of it's got to do with what you're eating too and what you're surrounding yourself with because you don't allow yourself to rid to these toxic people out of your life because you are fear it's almost like a fear of being alone so you'd you'd rather have these toxic people than rather not have anyone at all let me tell you something you already need is so much easier just being alone than having toxic people you don't need to deal with that crap you know what i mean like I, I, you need to do you and stop worrying about what everyone else wants stop lending money to people that don't want to appreciate you and stop lending money to people that don't want to pay back because it's what stuffing up financially i feel like the money problem right now is something that's really stemming from this Okay, so I hope this helps, mate. Okay, so could you please go back? Jo Joanne Garden, I always get the feeling that there is something I need to be doing in this life, but I'm a loss of what this is, but I feel that's connected to my purpose, Bree. Look, it's, we're not drawn to these things for no reason, sweetie. We are drawn to these things because of the highest of going, go on, give it a go, you might just like it. No one more that we will. I'm going to take the bait. Okay? I feel like there's, there is a purpose for you, and I feel like you're doing it. You've been here. You were going to be here, even though you cannot remember anything about your past lives, anything about your soul purpose. It's so that we learn. It's so that we can actually not be scared of anything. Do you know what I mean? Like, we need to take risks because if we don't take risks, we're not going to grow. And if we don't, there's no evolution. This is where evolution comes in. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to be remembering all the time when you were younger, for example, I'm just, I'm just going to hypothetically say you're an old man and you, you were in the war and you know, you've never to, rem to forget about all that PTSD. So you can still go out and enjoy fireworks and popping balloons at your grandkids' birthday instead of having a PTSD attack because you're remembering what's going on. That's why we forget a lot of our past lives, and I feel that that's kind of where you're going to be coming into play because you're going to be helping people remember this too. And I feel that you're just – you help people make – better. I guarantee you that you saved at least a handful of people from suicide in this lifetime. I, I, can, I can really feel it within my soul. So, you know, that just that, – that alone is very powerful. Very, very powerful. Okay, so I'll leave that there, Joanne. Okay, I'm going to go, guys, because my internet's just doing my head in. So I'm really sorry to just bail out like this. Um, but I will love you and leave you guys and see you in a fortnight, okay? Bye. Tonight from 8 p.m., we have an evening of free mediumship readings with Bill Hughes and his guest. Our regular fortnightly show, Collective Consciousness, offers our viewers an opportunity to receive messages from their loved ones. Join Sam O'Neill tomorrow from 1pm for an afternoon of spiritual guidance and free rune readings. Tomorrow night from 8pm, Ashley Robinson joins us for an evening of philosophy while answering your spiritual questions.